Thank you for joining us for another episode of Scrap Neek TV. Today I'm going to talk about printing digital elements. Um, sometimes you might come across um, a digital kit. Maybe you're a paper scrapper or a hybrid scrapper, or maybe you're a digital scrapper but you want to make a card or do something where you have it printed. Um, the great thing about using digital uh, elements and printing them out yourself is that they can sometimes be a lot cheaper than the paper counterparts that you might find in the store. So super quick and easy. Um, first you want to create your document, so File New, and we are going to change, I always do start with my 12 by 12, but we're going to change this to 8.5 by 11 just because most of us don't have a 12 by 12 printer at home. Make sure the resolution is 300 and click OK. So now we have our document. Now we're going to go and we're going to find the kit that we might want to print. Um, I'm going to find one that has quite a few um, journal cards and that's kind of what we're going to focus on today. So let me see which one of these kits would be a good choice. Um, there, in my moving kit, we have quite a few journal cards. So I'm just going to open all of these up. And then one by one, I'm going to do Command or Control A and Command or Control C. Go back over to my document and paste it here. Okay, then I'll do the next one. Paste it, and the great thing with these is you don't even have to leave a space. Um, you can just in fact, I'm going to move these down here, so do them right side by side. Whoops, that did not take. why sometimes it does that. I think I get in too big of a hurry. Okay. And I think that's all that's going to fit of the journal cards on our 8.5 by 11. But maybe we want to add in a few other elements. Let's just move on over to the elements here. Um, Maybe you want to do like these little moving boxes. Those would fit real nicely right there. Okay, and let's see if there's one more that will fit down there. Maybe this cute little house. We can just resize it to fit in that space. And there you go. So once you have that done, um, can merge it together and then we're going to go up to file print okay and then you want to make sure whether it's um, you know which format for the layout that you want so choose the right one and a scale we're just going to knock this down about 97%. That way we get a little border. It does make our elements a little bit smaller, but we get this border so that it doesn't cut any of it off when it prints. And then scale to fit media. I always like to print that one as well. In fact, we're going to put this back to 100. There, we can actually do it that way. Either way, we'll do um, 
kind of the same thing. It moves it in so it doesn't throw off anything, but it gives, because most printers at home are going to leave a little bit of a border around the edge. And then from there we just click print and then simply cut along the lines or get scissors out to cut the little pieces. And there you go, you've got elements from your digital kits that you can use to print um, and use on your projects at home. Thank you for joining us.